Goagi.com here with head football coach Jerry Olszewski as today we preview the running backs for the 2016 Vikings coach. Uh, obviously, we all know uh, what you lost at the running back position. Uh, C.J. Ham over 1,000 yards, 16 touchdowns, uh, now playing in the NFL for the Minnesota Vikings. But the guys you got returning, uh, Caden Quintanilla, uh, you've got Jackie Davis coming back, and you've got coming off a redshirt season, uh, D.J. Luke. Well, how do you feel about the running back position this far into fall camp? Well, as you know, last year we had C.J. and Justin basically, and the rest of them were dinged up uh, for the most of the year. So uh, feeling like we have three kids that are certainly capable and able, and, and they all have different skill sets, uh, it gives us a good start. We also have three young backs that we think are going to be pretty special here. Uh, but Jackie and, and Caden, for instance, have been have been waiting their turn and, and getting ready to go through the course of their, their careers. So we're excited about what they're going to bring to the table. DJ coming off his freshman, redshirt freshman year, we kind of pushed him to, uh, to get better this offseason and physically get in better shape, and he's done that. So I think that we have three kids that can really play right now, and if need be, we, we can go into a fourth in those redshirts. What is it that, that Jackie and Caden can, can kind of bring to the table for the offense? Both of them a little different style. Jackie, uh, shorter, strong, big physical. Caden, that, that little uh, thinner, uh, really uh, quick. Uh, lateral movement, uh, what what do you see differently from them that they can bring to your offense? Yeah, both of them are very good zone runners. Uh, they're, they're hard to find. You know, they're 5'9 and, and can get lost behind those trees of an offensive line we have, which is which is what we need. Uh, Jackie's very good at the north-south and decision-making and, and uh, I think does a tremendous job of keeping his pad square and, and getting positive yardage. So, uh, and then you look at Caden. Caden is a, a very elusive lateral uh, runner that's that's gifted in movement and and can pick him up and put him down he can run away from people so um, kind of slashers if you will uh, out of those two young men uh, and, and I think that both of them uh, will probably have to serve to help each other I don't think we're going to have one exclusive back this year I think that it's going to be by committee I think that those two need to make each other strong uh, and when one is is uh, is weak the other one needs to pick him up and get it going and yeah, what can fans to, to expect to see out of DJ Luke out of the backfield well, I think he improved a lot, and I think he needs to continue to improve. Again, he's just a he's just a redshirt freshman, so uh, he's he's got some maturity to do. He's matured his body. Uh, he's a downhill, uh, more of a downhill type kid who also has good feet as well. Uh, but I think all of them have improved their pass pass uh, uh, receiving skills. And as I look at DJ right now, he's starting to understand our system, and so he can play faster. You know, the other two. Uh, really know what we're doing. Uh, both Caden and Jackie understand uh, their job, understand their role in our systems. So uh, the more that comes clear for DJ, I think the better he'll play, the faster he'll play. Uh, and that's coming along. Day by day, you can see the light bulb going. I think Coach Warren's doing a great job with those guys of, of keeping it simple in the learning process so they can play fast. You also have uh, three true freshmen in the group, uh, Rudy Sinflurent from Dunland, Florida, uh, Ryan Bradbury out of Dallas, and uh, uh, Another Texas native, uh, Wyatt Trahan. Uh, what's the competition been like so far at this this point to fall camp? It's been awesome. It's been awesome to have six deep, uh, to be honest with you, at that position because they really do push each other to be better. Uh, and we've been running four four groups of offense, so uh, plus a white unit. You know, our freshmen are, are considered on the developmental squad, and we've been getting them plenty of reps too during camp already. So uh, it's an awesome, awesome thing to have that kind of depth. Those are future players. Those guys are really are talented, and they're going to push the guys ahead of them. So uh, I think the older guys look back, and they see that talent's behind them, and that motivates them to work hard and do well. And yet they're great teachers to them. You know, that's the brotherhood in this football team. The older guys, that's something I'm most proud of at every position, but certainly at running back too. They help the younger guys learn so that they can be their best. And I think those young guys are, are coming along pretty well. We talked about it with the O-line group, but uh, how much uh, do you have faith in that offensive line to help ease this? the running you know, the, the running backs taking over the role that, that C.J. and Justin left? Well, I think we have a, a pretty good offensive line, and, and I think they, they know they should play pretty well. So, uh, again, I would refer to the fact that we're only going to be as good as our offensive line. You know, Trey Hyde's a tremendous player. Our receivers, you know, both Matt, Charlie, Jake Barcher, uh, Matt Fujinami, Trevor DeShepard, they're all good. When you look at the running backs, that's the big question mark everybody's asking. I'm not, I'm not worried. I think these young men are going to play well, and I think having a, a stable of them or a committee of them is going to make each one of them more effective. That offensive line is going to make them better because of that. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for taking the time, and best of luck here throughout the rest of fall camp. Thank you so much, Tim. Fight on.